What's up guys, Noah from Everyday Paracord here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this simple paracord wrist lanyard. Let's get into it. Alright, so starting off here I have two strands of four feet of this brown paracord. So I'm going to take one of these strands and find the midpoint right here. And I'm going to take the other strand and do the same. Right here. So I'm just going to take these two places at the midpoints, cross one under the other, like that. Then I'm going to take this piece and just crisscross like that. Then I'm going to take these two pieces and do the same. I'm just going to pull, pull them apart like that. And then we're just going to grab at the top here, pull it out about an inch where we have a little loop of about an inch up here at the top. Kind of like that. Then, if you look here, we've got a cross like that. So we're going to take these two strands, this one and this one, we're going to cross them up. Look again. We're going to take this strand right here and this strand up here and we're going to cross them. that. Then we're going to take these two strands again, cross them, then we're going to take this strand and this strand once again and cross them. Can repeat this pattern again and again. Okay, so now you can see we've gotten our braid down to the point where if we connect it to this other strand, it's about the size it needs to be to get our hand inside. So what I'm going to do is go back to our braid here, and you see where this line cord is going up and this one's going down. We're just going to hold it like this, and this strand right here where it's tucking under, we're just going to pull on that, like that. To form a loop on the side. Then we're going to take our paracord here, the one that's going up, push it down through that loop. Then we're just going to pull that loop shut using our cord over here. Then we're going to do something very similar on the other side. We're going to find that loop over here. We're just going to pull that out. And then taking this cord right here, we're going to run it behind and up through this loop. Then we're going to just pull on a right strand to bring it closed. And then we're just going to cinch everything nice and tight. Like that. Okay, so now that we've got this done, you see how we have these two ends going out like this, and these two ends going out like this. We are going to take our scissors and cut off these ends right up next, as close as we can to that end and we're just going to melt it with the lighter. We're going to do the same for this other end over here. So now we're going to take this flat end right here and we're just going to twist it to where it lays flat against this side and we're just going to pinch that right there. Then we're going to grab our key ring and put it through that hole. Okay, so now I have our key ring placed through this loop. I'm going to take our end here and lay it flat like this on top of that. 
where it looks like that. We're just going to take our right chord, bend it like that, left chord goes over that part, behind everything, and back through that loop. We're just going to pull that nice and tight. Then we're going to take our left chord, bend it over the top, our right chord goes over that, behind, and back through. Like that. Pull that tight. One more time, we're going to take our right chord, bend it, left chord goes over that, behind it, and back through that loop. Gotta pull that good and tight. Now, we're going to take our scissors, just trim the ends here. There you have it.